Investment in securities market is subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. If you have invested with a naughty promoter or an indisciplined promoter, वो आपकी वेल्थ की बर्बादी निश्चित तौर से करेगा therefore you have to avoid naughty companies and indisciplined promoters. Exactly. An investor who is an equity investor in India, for example, who is investing in companies, needs to be extremely vigilant, right? Of, of you know again this this kind of risk, especially accounting and governance risk. Hi there, my name is Saurabh Mukherjee and it's my privilege to invite you to join us in the seventh episode of Guru Mantra with Saurabh. I'm joined with by my colleague in Marcellus, uh, Krishnan. He's the head of our investment advisory vertical. So far in Guru Mantra with Saurabh, in the previous episodes, we discussed the, the, the core principles of high quality equity investing. We discussed the importance of patience for long term compounding. In this episode, we will discuss the dark side of equity investing, how naughty companies, how uh, uh, poor accounting, poor corporate governance destroy shareholders' wealth. Obviously, we'll dis discuss this from a point of view of helping you avoid the dark side of equity investing. So, Krishan, you know, what are the things that what are the things that we should look out for in stocks? What are the stocks that Indian investors should avoid? Yeah. So again, you know, maybe taking that example of Test cricket, which we discussed mm -hmm. in a previous podcast, right? Uh, you know, if you, again, in, uh, like we discussed, it's very important in Test cricket to leave you know risky not take risky uh, shots right essentially leave uh, you know a you know a ball which is you know outside of stump for example mm -hmm. right because it's, it tends to be more risky so again uh, or you know for example you know if it's a googly right mm -hmm. so you just you know just defend you uh, defend that against that googly right so you know the companies or the approach you know which we are going to talk about essentially to identify you know these kind of uh, you know uh, you know uh, you know in, you can think about these are balls in cricket or you know maybe companies in the in investment context right essentially these are well destroyers right um, you know are you know one piece of analysis which we did oh, you know again for again for just for in uh, bsc 500 companies and this is over a 10 year period mm -hmm. uh, where we found that nearly 40% of uh, companies uh, churn out of the bsc 500 you index they get they get thrown, they, out, of they the get, they get thrown out of the index wow over a 10 year period and these exits are mainly due to capital allocation or corporate governance issues. Okay. Right. Level, the promoter invests money in the wrong places and corporate governance means he does something naughty, naughty. naughty with shareholders money. Right. And generally you know in some ways these are related right. right. So if you have bad corporate governance generally uh, capital allocation is also tends to be bad right. So uh, if, if you look at nifty right uh, in fact nifty churns by around 50 percent or so every decade as compared to around 25 percent for developed markets and around 30 to 42 percent for, for other emerging uh, markets right. So uh, uh, so this number in India is uh, the churn even in our market cap in indices is much higher when you compare it with other emerging markets or other developed markets well, right. Um, and uh, what this tells you is there are uh, the more cases of companies uh, you know which basically go defunct due to poor corporate governance capital allocation decisions um, and in all these cases mm -hmm. there is permanent and large loss of invested capital right, right. Uh, so an, in an investor who is an equity investor in india for example who is investing in companies needs to be extremely vigilant right of, of you know again this this kind of risk especially accounting and governance risk right, right. and need to so have just to, a just to be clear here this has got nothing to do with patience or impatience if time horizon ki baat nahi hai. if you have invested with a naughty promoter or an indisciplined promoter wo aapki wealth ki barbadi nishchit taur se kare kare and therefore you have to avoid naughty companies and indisciplined promoters exactly very interesting now is there a framework that you can offer people which will help them identify who are the naughty promoters who are the indisciplined promoters Sure. So uh, at Masterless, again, we have, uh, you know, we have developed this uh, a forensic screening framework, uh, you know, where we, uh, you know, are looking for, which is one of our key pillars, which I talked about in the previous podcast, the credible accounting pillar. Uh, what we do is we use a set of ratios, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in case of non-financial companies, we use a set of uh, 11 ratios. Mm -hmm. And in case of uh, financials, we use a different set of, uh, or lenders, we use, uh, you know, uh, around 10 ratios, right? And basis these ratios, uh, we uh, decide, you know, whether a company is presenting uh, its accounting in a fair manner or not, whether it's right. misstating its account or not, right? And, you know, in almost all cases, what you would find is, uh, you know, this forensic screen is the very first step, right, which we use uh, in our 
investing process right because you cannot go ahead you know with you know with investing in a company or doing any further analysis on the company if you don't trust the company's accounts right if you cannot trust their financial statements so these 11 ratios krishnan is talking about if you want to get all of all 11 of them uh, uh, you'll find them in our book diamonds in the dust the book is easily available everywhere in the country so for example just to give you one example of a forensic accounting ratio which is turned out to be very effective if you find a listed entity where the auditor's fees are growing much faster than the company's revenues and i'm talking about say over 5 6 years over 5 6 years the auditor's fees are growing faster than the company's revenues that tends to be a red flag right it tends to be a signal that something funny is happening in the in the company's company's accounts now krishna can you take us through an example of a of a naughty company where the where are ratios flagged danger problems and the company subsequently ran into a lot of trouble sure so uh, so we can take an example of uh, uh, amtrak auto uh, so amtrak auto was uh, was consistently classified in the so called zone of thuggery right? what is the zone of thuggery so essentially these are the bottom 40% of the company uh, again companies uh, were doing badly on our ratios yes Achha. those 11 ratios which we talked about hmm. um, and uh, uh, so essentially uh, this uh, amtrak was consistently getting flagged as having doubtful accounting uh, okay. uh, and uh, you know what our forensic screen was suggesting was it's best to avoid investing in this company right um, Uh, and again there were multiple red flags so you know uh, before we dive in into it just a bit of history about amtrak auto mm-hmm. for our you know the listeners of this podcast so amtrak auto is basically an auto component supplier right, right. it uh, was founded in 1985 during the initial phase uh, you know it was a supplier to maruti suzuki mm-hmm. um, and then the company made inroads into new customers honda you know uh, iser um, so on and so forth and launched multiple new products however from 2001 onwards uh, you know amtrak consummated more than 15 acquisitions right right um and uh, yeah, pretty much every year was doing an acquisition <laughs> exactly and uh, which would come to define the company over the next 15 years until the start of the collapse in 2015 right uh, while the most widely cited reason for amtex failure is its ac- aggressive capital allocation mostly acquisitions mm-hmm. um, uh, again what our forensic framework uh, suggested that there was substantial possibility that a company was misrepresenting its accounts Very interesting. Uh, and uh, long before again Uh, the 20 uh, you know we knew that uh, you know the issues in 2015 right uh, now you know if you just take the our forensic accounting model right uh, and you walk through the problems in amtex financial statement mm-hmm. uh, just taking one ratio for example the cash flow from operations cfo as we call it to uh, earnings before interest depreciation and amortization so let's call it uh, operating profit so see operating cash flow to operating profit, operating right profit, so you do ratio hai operating cash flow to operating profit this is in our business called the cash conversion ratio matlab for every 100 rupees of operating profit that the company is earning for every 100 rupees of profit that the company is earning how much cash flow is it earning right and a good company and a good company typically has a ratio of around 70 to 80% kam se kam 70 80% matlab 100 rupees operating profit pe 70 80 rupees operating cash flow banni chahiye over say a 4 5 year period so coming back to uh, uh, cash conversion ratio Uh, how was amtec doing on this so amtec cash conversion ratio if you think about again over this uh, 15 year period mm-hmm. uh, 2000 to uh, to 2015 it was around 55 52 60% wow. roughly wow. amazing right the so, 100 rupees profit pe keval 50 55 rupees cash flow ban raha tha right and the one of the reasons for this poor cash conversion was amtec's working capital right uh, which was the working capital cycle essentially uh, was so working capital hai quickly thoda samjha deta hu so mani har ek business ka working capital cycle hota hai तो ऑटो एंसिलरी में वर्किंग कैपिटल साइकिल ब्रॉडली आप मानिए आप रॉ मटेरियल खरीद रहे हो से यू बाइंग स्टील एज रॉ मटेरियल यू पेइंग सैलरीज टू वर्कर्स यू पेइंग फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल फॉर द फैक्ट्री ये सारा खर्चा इन ऑटो एंसिलरी कंपनी हैज टू डू स्टील पे खर्चा बिजली पे खर्चा वर्कर्स के वेजेस पे खर्चा फिर वो कोई कंपोनेंट बना के मानिए मारुति को दे रहा है नब्बे दिन बाद मारुति उसको पैसे देगा इन दैट नाइन्टी डेज कंपनी का पैसा अटका हुआ है बिकॉज दे पेड फॉर ऑल दिस खर्चा लेकिन कस्टमर ने उसको पेमेंट नहीं दिया है इसको वर्किंग कैपिटल कहते हैं सो क्रिस्टन इज सेंग इज एमटेक की कैश कन्वर्जन रेशियो कमजोर थी क्यों कमजोर थी क्योंकि इसका वर्किंग कैपिटल ज्यादा था काफी सारा पैसा धंधे में अटका हुआ था एक्जैक्टली एंड वर्किंग कैपिटल वॉज हाई बिकॉज ऑफ हाई रिसीवेबल्स राइट हाई रिसीवेबल्स एसेंशली द मनी दैट वॉज ओल्ड टू कस्टमर सो कस्टमर सो अगर आप एमटेक के अकाउंट्स को मानते हुए चलो 
सो ऐसा लग रहा था इफ यू लुक एट एमटेक्स अकाउंट लुकिंग एज एमटेक्स कस्टमर्स वर ओइंग एमटेक मनी दे वर टेकिंग द स्वीट टाइम इन पेइंग एमटेक या एंड द Uh, the the doubt the you know the question of doubtful account arises here right because when you look at the receivable days uh, of amtech it was actually much higher than its auto ancillary period right. so no other no other auto ancillary company had these sorts of high receivable days and therefore the suspicion arises or exactly. arose exactly uh, uh, that that maybe these receivables are not really uh, what they appear to be maybe there is something else happening here which is which is making it look as if Amtech customers are taking their sweet time to pay Amtech. Exactly. So, uh, so this poor cash conversion, capital allocation decisions, again, this reflected in other ratios also, uh, was identified by our forensic screen uh, from 2006 itself. Uh, again, and uh, you know, again, if uh, you know, if you just take a, you know, if you had followed this uh, 2000, you know, our forensic screen. an investor would have avoided the permanent loss of capital uh, you know when the the massive share price drop happened when the issues came to fall in 2015 so so krishnan ne ek kafi dilchasp baat chhedi hai if you are interested in forensic accounting i would strongly recommend that you read diamonds in the dust we've given several examples we've elaborated at length on amtech itself you can find plenty of more details on amtech but there are several other examples and and if you have a detective type mindset ab jasusi ke agar aapke mindset hai तो फॉरेंसिक अकाउंटिंग इज एन इमेंसली इंटरेस्टिंग एरिया टू गेट इनटू पैसा तो बनता ही है बट साथ में साथ इट इज लाइक अ मिस्ट्री यू आर एबल टू सॉल्व मिस्ट्रीज इन द रियल वर्ल्ड खूब मजा आता है आ, पहले पकड़ लेते हो कंपनी नोटी चीजें कर रही है चार पांच साल बाद दुनिया को ये बात समझ आती है सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड राइट मूविंग मूविंग इन फर्दर इन टू सम मोर फैक्ट्स अबाउट द फॉरेंसिक स्क्रीनर वट कैन वट मोर कैन यू टेल अस अबाउट हाउ द फॉरेंसिक स्क्रीनर हेल्प्स यू डिटेक्ट अकाउंटिंग क्वालिटी so uh, you know uh, again this is uh, you know you, you can take an example of uh, you know you know meritor q uh, you know again we uh, the forensic screen is the very first step which we right. employ in meritor q like i said right it's uh, you know like in other strategies you know this is the very first step so even before we look at you know uh, you know how indebted the company is or you know how you know whether the company is consistently generating right. cash flows it's consistently profitable right. we are first looking at the okay. the forensic so meritor q christian jo portfolio banane ka tarika hai christian ka and meritor q Krishnan is saying rather than first saying what is the profitability, what is the debt, his first job is to use the forensic accounting framework to figure out are the numbers believable or are they not. If they are not believable, if the company is in the zone of thuggery, I presume you ignore it completely. Exactly. ठीक है उसके आगे क्या करते हो आप मेरिट और क्यों में सो यू नो सो वी यू नो वी लुक एट यू नो दर यू नो वी लुक एट कंपनीज विच आर क्लीन एंड देन सब्सिक्वेंटली वी लुक फॉर कंपनीज विच आर कंसिस्टेंटली प्रॉफिटेबल विच हैव अ लोड यू नो डेप्ट फाइनली वी सेलेक्ट कंपनीज विच आर बोथ प्रॉफिटेबल एज वेल एज अंडर वैल्यूड एंड अंडर वैल्यूएशन वी लुक एट द करेंट वैल्यूएशन वर्सेज द फ्री कैश फ्लो जनरेशन एबिलिटी ऑफ द कंपनी राइट सेलेक्ट आउट थर्टी आउट कंपनीज एंड लाइक ए सेड यू नो वी रेगुलरली डू दिस विच यू नो वी यू नो go through this portfolio construction process twice in a year what we call it, what we call as rebalancing uh, and like i said it's a completely systematic process uh, and these rules are followed you know no matter what happens in the markets and uh, the objective here again is to you know completely avoid emotions and biases so there you have it folks meritor q allows krishnan to identify 30 to 45 companies where the books are clean clean accounting डेट लेवल्स आर लो कंपनी के बैलेंस शीट में भारी भरकम डेट नहीं पड़ा हुआ तीसरा थर्ड थिंग प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी लेवल्स आर हाई एंड फाइनली जस्ट एज इम्पोर्टेंटली कंपनी इज अवेलेबल एट रीजनेबल वैल्यूएशन अनुशासित तरीके से डिसिप्लिन तरीके से कृष्णन ये मेथड इस्तेमाल करके ये फॉर्मूलों को इस्तेमाल करके मेरिट और क्यू के क्लाइंट्स को एक पोर्टफोलियो बना के देते हैं तीस से पैंतालीस स्टॉक्स का इन्वेस्टमेंट एडवाइजरी कॉन्स्ट्रैक्ट में थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस इन Uh, uh, in this episode of of guru mantra with saurabh we wanted to end you and 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 this this whole series by giving you a sense of what can go wrong in equity investing equity investing should be done with care it should be done with discipline if you do those it's life changing for you the wealth it can create for you thank you so much for joining us